Hi everybody, it's time for an unboxing, I think. Don't you agree? So, let's have a look. I have cut the tapes off um, in the kitchen because there's just not enough space here and I'm very clumsy with sharp objects. Wow. We're really purchasing all of our Hebert's. The name, the artist, and the artwork really. There's nothing else here but that. So, okay. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I sort of, I sort of knew that coming in. Um, now, the Sacred Arcana, on the other hand. So, let us take this box out of the way. Here. So, it comes in this. I really like the, I like natural cloth, I don't like those gauze, um, synthetic material, I prefer natural fabric, and this is lovely. And so let's open this up. So it has this linen cardstock, so very you can see the texture there. I think that's linen cardstock, isn't it? If you look in the black part of the cards, you can see the texture of the lamination of this particular cardstock. I'm just focusing for you. I have to manually focus this. I don't have automatic focus. My device, my tablet is not sophisticated enough. There is a wound, but look at the wing, or whatever that is that came out of the heel. Not the heel, what do you call this? Um, in Indonesian, we call this the eye of the foot here. The eye of the foot, the eye of the leg. I don't know why I pause here in this image. I like this sort of, you know, Mars, Venus, light shadow. You see how it's very yin and yang. The stars outside, the rainbows in here, the rainbows out there, the shadows in here, and I really like that. That looks simple, but it has so much in there to unpack. And this is very much related to um, my thoughts and ideas about the archetype and the story of the devil in tarot and in general, really. Um, I've been meaning to talk to you guys about the devil story, the devil archetype for a while now, and my, my thoughts still forming in a way. The essence is there, but I don't know. I'm just waiting for the flow to... You know, I, I follow the flow, 
and when the flow is there the flow is there when it's not it's not so you see Mars Venus I almost expect cat dog but that is a reflection of my own presumptions that cat and dogs are in a separate end of of some kind of a spectrum which of course they're not so I really like that uh, shadow and light I really like that So that's the um, Secret Arcana Oracle, or what we call Oracle. I always think that the term Oracle is not the best, but that's a topic for a different video. So that's the Secret Arcana. And, um, so I was going to share with you the book for the tarot. So this was on the base of the box on top of the packing peanuts and the deck itself so there is the book and I hope uh, the box there it is that's the box so I might keep the box like that and uh, just use the deck somehow I don't know I'll think about it later artist and empress there is a write-up by Carolyn Wise apparently she's a, um, a known writer in the UK or from the UK and there's an introduction by Oliver Hebert himself and so as you can see the booklet is very tastefully very thoughtfully done instead of just a booklet which you would argue um, as uh, the content is quite brief arguably you could simply stuff it in a booklet um, but they've done it this way which is quite lovely very art gallery style it's very much like what an art gallery with issue rather than a playing card maker But everything was aligned and I thought it was time. Um, I was gonna get one for less than retail from someone but then uh, that fell through and after shipping it wasn't going to be that cheap anyway. And then I saw someone showed um, their oracle cards, the oracle deck, that one there I think. And that's what, that was what uh, made me pull, made me hit. Um, the buy button, the order button. So Oliver Hebert. One source I think is the um, the website that I purchased this is from one, one source, one source. So I'm not quite sure if that's uh, the brand or the publication house or is that his gallery. I, I really don't know. I've, I'll put the link down below so you can investigate that for yourself. As I said, um, pardon, um, pardon me for repeating myself. You are essentially purchasing the artwork or prints of Oliver Hebert's artwork. I believe essentially this is what this is. The fool's my card too, so I will put this fellow over here have we missed the emperor because the emperor is um, my life path cards as well and I would like to 
Okay. I think my stomach's going to growl in a minute. I'm quite, um, haven't had breakfast yet. It's the Hierophant. Sorry about the background. Um, <sighs> both sides, people. Both sides of our house. Are banging and drilling and... To a certain extent, like a lot of these um, redrawings of Rider Waite Smith, the esoteric details are, if not um, eliminated, watered down for the sake of aesthetic, for the sake of um, the theme, the design. Again, to be expected, it is a deck created by a pop artist, and so. I don't know much about him, but as far as I know, he's not um, an esotericist or anything like that, but I could be wrong. I really didn't look into it. But a lot of his art is, um, from what I can see, uh, collectible, collected and in, in various uh, mainstream galleries, art galleries. So. He reminds me of a local New Zealand artist that I really love. He has this sense of um, a modern graphic designer meet artist meet culturalist and he's Chinese, Maori, Danish, Scottish and you know beautifully multicultural and it shows in the work that he did that he has done. Shane Janssen, I think his name. I'll put I'll put his link down below. This New Zealand artist. I have a big uh, painting of his that I purchased on a whim during um, a fair, during an exhibition. Not on a whim. I was following his work for a long time in. Um, it wasn't um, one of. One of the um, pieces that I most prefer, but to the one that I really like, I've sold. So I personally believe that you shouldn't settle with artwork. I've done I've done that many times. When you collect art, if you sort of um, really didn't feel it, but you really want to have the work of a particular artist in your home, um, uh, it is best to wait in my personal experience because there's always this nagging feeling that it's not quite the right piece. But I enjoy so much of the artist's work that um, I really like the Seven of Swords. It's so rich. Um, I've seen the Seven of Swords as so much more than uh, whatever the basic understanding of it that I've read online when I first started learning tarot. It's so much more complex than sneaking around or dishonesty or whatever this is, it's so much more complex and rightly this um, the 
patterns here. So rich, I really like this. I still don't know what a pentacle is. I know someone someone explained it to me and I still don't quite understand it. Because I've never really seen one in life and it, it's never featured in my reality and so it remains this abstract um, theoretical thing that is the thing in a circle and a thing in the other thing and yeah. So the Tree of Life uh, composition is a line, which is nice because sometimes you wonder whether the person who created the deck know what they're doing because all the, um, you know, this, the Sephiroth's um, arrangement's completely off and this is clearly the spheres in the Tree of Life, so. So, so far it's a visual feast there's nothing um, so in that sense it's a bit more it's one of those um, decks that are simply straightforwardly the aces are grouped together right away smith so it's straightforward right away smith um, other than the, vi the visual aesthetic um, there's no real addition to it as such limited to whatever the visual and the aesthetic allows obviously like the eyes there's lots of eyes there's a lot of melting things um, like the faces the heads are all consists of an eyeball for example looking at his other works that seems to be a trademark of his the melting the electric uh, colors and the eyeball faces seem to be and so a lot of his um, work seems to be a various various uh, rendition of the same aesthetic which reminds me of that graphic designer artist a modern pop artist that whose work Shane Hansen I think his name um, part Chinese part Danish or was it part Norwegian I can't remember part Maori, part Scottish or English. It was about three, four different cultures and ethnicities and heritage in him. And I always find people like that fascinating, maybe because I see myself in them. And I often find them engaging in the kind of conversation that I feel is um, that I feel we need more of. But this is not about Shane Hansen, this is about Oliver Hebert Tarodek. 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 So for those who wonder why male genitalia isn't shown while well, females constantly shown quite liberally all over the place, you have a lot of male genitalia here. So definitely equality there. We have pubes and boobs and crutches all exposed equally. I quite like it. Um, if not, I wouldn't have spent the money. Will I regret buying this? Time will tell. Let's put that aside. Um, let's shuffle this. Yeah, to be expected. It shuffles. Um, let's shuffle this together. Shuffle is the way. Sort of linen, heavy, smooth bit of texturing, let's see how they ripple shuffle. Very nice, very, very nice. I'm a pretty bad riffle shuffler. So for me to get this kind of distribution, 
the cardstock has to be very malleable it has to be bouncy sturdy flexible all at the same time and so that's very very nice and so that's the Oliver Hebert Tarot and the Sacred Arcana by Oliver Hebert thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys later bye